good morning. It's Megan and it's Saturday. It's the day after I took the day off and was extremely sick, feeling my throat feels so much better. You can tell I can actually talk now. This is the first time I've talked all day today. So I was nervous to hear my voice, but it sounds pretty much back to normal. And I'm so, so grateful, but I wanted to just chat with you for a little bit. Um, it's pretty early. Oh, it's 10 now. I thought it was still like 9 something. But I woke up around like 8.15. I thought I was going to sleep like in a lot longer, but I don't know. I just felt naturally awake, which I try to wake up when I feel that way because if I sleep any more than that, like if I force myself to sleep more, usually I'm really tired for the rest of the day, which I don't want to be tired today. I want to be really nice and awake for Michael because I'm going to go see him today and spend the weekend um, with him. And um, I want to film at least one video this morning, if not two. So I just wanted to check in with you guys. I really like my makeup today. This shirt is really, really comfy. It's one um, that my Aunt Sue sent me in that giant box that I showed you guys. And sorry, there's a bra right there. Um, but this is from Banana Republic. It's so like baggy and nice. She sent me a bunch of different colors. And then I'm just wearing these amazing sweatpants from Target that I absolutely love. Let me see if I can show you somehow. All right. Can I show you these amazing? They're so cute. They're so like baggy and comfortable. I always get like a bigger size in like sweatpants or like sweat relaxation clothes. So these bottoms are a large. Oh my god, they're so so comfortable and they work really well with Uggs or like fuzzy boots because they are like tapered at the bottom. So I'm just in my super comfy clothes. This is the HRH Orion's Belt necklace. I'm obsessed with this necklace. I want like, I just love chokers. I also have this one that's more of like my going out choker. I got this from Rock's Box and I really love that for a different type of look. But for like every day and for something really sparkly and pretty, I love the Orion's Belt. And then my makeup I really like today. I am still using and loving the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. And then I have on the Rosy Pop Clinique blush. I think that it's so pretty. I'm really glad that I got it. And the um, e.l.f. Let's see. This uh, baked blush or baked um, highlight and bronzer duo in Bronzed Glow. Just the highlighter. I think that it's such a nice highlight. I don't know. This gets like bad reviews on the e.l.f. website, but it is so, so nice. I really love it. And then I am using the um, MAC Nordstrom Naturals palette. I used, I went like pretty smoky today. I didn't expect to do my makeup so smoky, but let me turn you around and show you guys what colors I used. Okay, so in my crease first, I use Wedge, which is this one. That Well, first, first, I used um, this all over the lid, which I believe is Vapor. And then I put my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Moonlight. Then I did Wedge in the crease. Then I deepened it up with Embark, which is a beautiful, beautiful shadow. And then just to make the lid a little more shimmery, I used Honey Lust. And like I told you guys yesterday, I kind of revamped my makeup bag. Um, and so I'll just show you guys what I put in here. So I have my two Estee Edit products, the beam team and the flash illuminator i really love both of those for a glowy look and then for my foundation i have the smashbox and the illamasca and i forgot to show you guys it snowed it is so snowy and icy out there that's why i'm like not rushing to go to michael's because i can't get anywhere anyways right now then i have some like blush and highlighter options so i have that elf duo i have my estee lauder mad men blush that i absolutely love i wish that they would do more collections of such beautiful packaging like this because 
it's like unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's so beautiful. Then the Clinique Rosie Pot that I'm wearing today. NARS Sin, which I really, really love. It's so beautiful. I love that. And then the Cover FX um, Moonlight Highlighter, which is like a silver tone. You would never be able to tell from it in the pan because it looks like a skin tone color, but it shears out into like a silver sheen. It's beautiful. Then I really want to work on my um, Guerlain Meteorites more this year or in 2017. Um, I haven't used this in quite a long time, the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I still don't know how much I really like this palette just because whenever I use it, I feel like all the shades just blend into one blob. So I don't know, I need to play with that some more. My MAC palette that I pretty much used every day for months lately, and then my Nordstrom Naturals palette, and all my concealers, eyeliners, and mascaras in there. And then for breakfast, I've been eating Christmas cookies that my mom and Rachel made yesterday. These are our homemade chocolate chip. They're amazing. For coffee, which I like, I don't want to say I hate coffee, but I never have liked coffee. But I've been drinking so much over the past two days because it's just so, the warmth feels so amazing on my throat. So this is the Peppermint Mocha K-Cup with the Peppermint Mocha uh, like creamer and a little bit of sugar. And I really, really like it. And then room temperature water. I only drink ice cold water. Like I hate room temperature water. But ice cold water feels like I'm drinking glass right now. So... Uh, that's why I have room temperature today. And I feel like there was so much more that I wanted to tell you guys, but I don't think there really is. I'm going to do a finance goals video for 2017. I made a list of my goals this week. So I'm just going to go over all those with you. And I rewatched my financial goals for 2016 video this morning. And I am very happy to say that I did really, really well at all of my goals. And um, I want to do like a separate video kind of going over each of the goals that I wanted to do for 2016 and talk about how well or how not so well that I did. But I do want that to be a separate video because if I do both in one video, it's going to be like a two hour long video. Um, so I'm just going to do my goals today and I might do another like chatty type of video because I have like some ideas for beauty, like panning, um, using it up, stuff like that, like more thoughts that I've had recently about those types of topics and I just really love chatting with you guys. I really, really missed it. And I hope that, I always say this, but like I hope that I can continue doing videos more regularly. And I think that I'm on a good like swing right now. So I'm going to enjoy it um, for every single moment that I do it. I only do these videos when I really, really am inspired to talk to you guys and I really, really want to talk to you. I don't force myself to do videos like I kind of used to. Um, I was really hard on myself in the past about my channel, just trying to have as much content and good content and content you guys wanted and constant content and just like always pushing myself, which made it not as fun. And so I want to just stick with doing videos as I feel like it and um, do it to keep it fun because I stopped doing it for a while, mostly because I was busy, but also because it started to feel like work and not like fun. And I really just wanted to feel like fun and I really feel like it is fun now. So I'm very, very happy about that. And I appreciate you guys so much for watching my videos. It's still unbelievable to me. And even if I don't have like 20 bajillion followers or subscribers or whatever, I really don't care about that. I really just am amazed that anyone cares about what I say. <laughs> so even if just one person watched it other than my mom, I would be absolutely thrilled. But it is truly incredible that you guys choose to spend your time hanging out with me. It's, I try to remind myself of that if I ever get like, 
if I ever start to compare myself to like bigger YouTubers or whatever, there's no comparison because it's not about the numbers, it's about the connection with you guys and I feel like we have a really, really strong connection and I did get a comment on my Instagram this morning about doing like a room tour. First of all, my room is a disaster right now. <laughs> Usually I clean it right before Michael comes to visit and since he's not visiting this weekend, I like let myself go. So it's a disaster, but I do think that's a good idea. I've had requests in the past to do a room tour and my room pretty much never changes. So I don't feel like it would be a bad thing because I mean, it, it just is what it is. So I might do that. I'll add that to my list of videos to do when I have a week off between Christmas and New Year's. I'm really hoping to have time to do a few more videos than normal uh, during that week. So I am going to go um, set up my camera and do my financial goals video, but I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so, so much. Seriously, I really appreciate every single one of you, and I hope that you're having an amazing, amazing weekend. See you soon. Bye.